Hi, this is Mark from LongNightWatch.com. Uh, just uh, a week or two ago, I was doing kind of like a PO cleanup, a purchase order cleanup, uh, seeing a lot of outstanding stuff, and I kind of reached out to Seiko and said, hey, from this list, um, is there stuff that's disco, discontinued? And I, sure enough, I got a whole list back of a bunch of models uh, that are indeed discontinued, so I figured I would share, the, share them with you. I will say just about all of them, pretty much, are not available in our store anymore. Um, you know, I've had them on back order for a while, and I guess just in that time, they've been discontinued. So if you do want any of them, uh, you should probably you know, kind of go out and try to find them before they disappear. For good, for my own wrist check on uh, one wrist, I got my Doxa 300T, Clive Cussler. That's not it. It's this one, Doxa 300T, Clive Cussler. And on the other wrist is my uh, Accutron, uh, what is this, a 20, they call it a 2021 or something? It's the new one with the electrostatic movement. Um, so I have my, I actually own an iPad if you can believe it. Uh, I'm a, actually an Android guy, but I had to get an iPad for flying because ForeFlight only works on Apple devices. So I'm gonna try to, try to go in order of series. Uh, I'll try to throw a little picture up of the item, but pretty much me looking at my iPad for a lot of it. Uh, so the first one, so let's start with Prospects. Uh, the first one to go is going to be the Night Vision Solar Diver, uh, all black PVD. This, the Night Vision series was um, comprised of three watches, right? It was. Uh, this solar diver, it was the tortoise, which is kind of still around, and the samurai, which sold through a long while ago. Uh, so again, because these is, this is like a limited run, uh, this edition is gone, and we won't get any more of them. Next up on the list, this kind of surprising, as I want to say this guy is only a year or so old. So it should tell you how popular it was. The SN, did I tell you the model number the first one? SNE587. Second one, Safarni, the SNJ031. As far as I know, the 029 is still in production. But the 031 has uh, the green rubber strap. This is the Arnie. They called it the Safarni, kind of like safari colors and stuff. Uh, Annie Digi, uh, same size as the Arnie reissue. Um, just when they released the 29 and the third one at the same time. I guess this one's getting the boot. This one was around for a while, still in prospects. The 2019 Monster. This is like the first reissue of the Monster in the U.S. since the uh, orange and black models um, kind of disappeared. This is the SRPD 25. You can tell how old it is by uh, the numbering scheme of it. Uh, so SRPD 25, this is called the Seiko 2019 Monster. Uh, blue dial with a black bezel. So uh, this one was on stainless steel bracelet. That one's gone, got the boot, and ditto with its brother or sister, the SRPD27, which was the black dial, black bezel on the rubber strap. Both of these monsters are totally, totally gone. Uh, in the current monster lineup for Seiko USA, uh, you've got like your Save the Ocean models, the Antarctica penguins, um, so all those special edition watches. Uh, so let's move on. So that's it for prospects, as far as I know. Obviously, there's more that's discontinued. I'm going to cover like 13 or 14 models. Um, there are more that are discontinued throughout the lineup, but these are the ones of interest and the ones I carry and the ones that actually sold through. That was my elbow that just popped. Another thing, another good thing about getting old. So in presage, uh, this one was not popular at all. SRP 837, it is a 33.8 millimeter presage with the black dial stainless steel bracelet. This was kind of the ladies version um, of the cocktail time uh, with the black dial. But then, well, maybe a little more surprising, the larger version, the SRP E17, which was 40 and a half millimeters in diameter. That one is gone as well. So both of these presages are gone. And as far as I know, that's it for presage. That's getting discoed uh, for now. Moving on to Seiko 5s. A couple on here kind of surprised me, and I think this first one is going to be possibly the biggest surprise for me. The SRPD57, which is your 5KX gilt dial, black dial, gold hands, gold markers, black and gold bezel. So this was part of the original 5KX release in the States. So we're going back to, what, 2020, about 21 or so? 2021, somewhere around there. Uh, so it's two and a half to three years old at this point. Uh, but I like this gilt dial option. Um, there really aren't many other in the 5KX lineup, but this one got flung to the curb. Another one, not really popular in the store, but I, I did like the look of it. SRPD67, which is the ivory dial on the mesh bracelet. Uh, 
a pretty decent looking watch, but you, know, you got to look from Seiko's point of view that, you know, you just saw me do a video a week or two ago with 14 or 15 new models that I brought into the store. So, you know, if you're a company like Seiko, you know, like Islander or whatever, you know, if you introduce 50 new models, you want to get rid of 40 new models, you can't keep growing and growing your line because eventually you just become like a spaghetti factory. This one never sold well, though I think it looks awesome. SRPD 81. The SRPD 79, still in production, is the stealth one, black on black. But this was like a blue on black. I thought this was an awesome look. Um, but as I said, didn't really sell very well. I'm giving you, you know, my sales numbers. Um, so no surprise there. Last one from the five cakes, a beautiful blue on the nylon. SRPD 87 got the bye-bye. Uh, just a couple more left. Uh, so, keeping in this theme, the concrete dial, SRPG61. This was, these were released after the ones I just covered. You, again, you can tell by the model numbers, SRPG. So you, you had SRPD, they go to E, uh, you know, so it kind of goes up the line. They do skip letters and they do skip numbers, but just kind of keep that all in mind. So SRPG61, which was your concrete dial, 5KX, Pretty cool watch. When we first got it, uh, so I said this is about a year and a half to two years ago, sold like gangbusters, but then quickly faded, I guess. Um, and then into the, what are these? The uh, Dress KX models, um, those kind of fieldy watches, SRPEs. Uh, so this is an SRPE 63. This was the brushed model on the, with the blue, blue dial on the nylon strap. As far as I know, they're still making the other variants on the bracelet and the other variants on the strap, uh, you know, the black dial, the blue dial on the bracelet, etc. cetera. Um, but this, this guy is kind of gone. And then, to go along with their SRPG-61, the SRPG-63 got the boot. This was a concrete dial uh, dress KX. Again, these concrete dials were really, really nifty. Great texture to them. Look like concrete. Not made out of concrete, but look like concrete. Sorry to see it go. Last, not least, but the last one. SSB-395, which was part of the 140th anniversary uh, chronograph. Uh, 100, 140th anniversary series, they released um, an SPB model, right? Uh, they released a 5KX model, and then they released a, uh, a chronograph model. This chronograph model is the last one of the series to go. Um, it is gone. 140th anniversary brings us to 2021, because Seiko is 1881. So this would be a 2021 model. Uh, so, you know, it'll, the series lasted close to two years, year and a half. Forgot how many they made, but it's it. That's it, it's gone. Uh, so any of these models that you see, like I said, maybe one or two of them, we still have some stragglers in the store, um, but otherwise they're all gone now. So if you wanted any of those, go online now and try to find them. Because in two, three, four, five months, once people know that they're discontinued and they have the last remaining units, guess what they do? I never do this. They jack up the price and they try to get much more money for them. You know, for example, I was kind of looking up the other day, one of the night vision, um, I think the Samurai I was looking up. I was pretty sure it was discontinued, uh, sold through the series. And I found them on a couple of websites, but they were like 700 bucks. And being that it's like a $500 watch or 550, I knew immediately, well, yeah, it's sold out, but they know what they got and they're holding out for the price. Anyway, that's it. That's what Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you a bunch of sold out Seikos. Current as of today, uh, what are we? Uh, I don't know, do I have a date on these watches? I do. August 9th, 2023. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Questions, comments, concerns, anything else, you can put it down below. I'll be sure to address it as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.